On what appeared to be his inevitable walk into Travelers Championship history late Sunday afternoon, Bubba Watson prepared for his second shot on the par 5, 13th hole. Watson had driven his tee shot 271 yards into the middle of the fairway, and a rich opportunity sat before him to birdie, grab a two-shot lead and ease into his place alongside the legendary Billy Casper. What Bubba did next was perplexing. Sitting 188 yards from the pin, he left his second shot 59 yards short. It almost looked like he laid up on purpose or something bizarre had happened. It was a horrible shot, one Watson did not address post-round, and one he had to scramble for par. While it did set the stage for an epic meltdown, it would be unfair to definitively call that swing on no. 13 His worst shot. There were so many to come. So, so many. When Watson was finished butchering the final five holes in six over par, turning history into a tie for 19th place, it may be unkind, yet certainly accurate to call it the Gagdad from Baghdad. What happened on the five final holes wasn't perplexing. Bubba Watson, the three-time Travelers champion from Baghdad, Fla, simply fell apart. I could write something more graphic, but we'll allow Watson the honor. When the wind picks up like this weekend, makes it a lot more challenging, Watson said. Gosh, I've thrown up on myself before here. Made a triple on 16 to lose when I was up by one or two that year. After the third round on Saturday, when he sat atop the leaderboard with Kramer Hickok at minus 10, Watson talked about what the final round would be like at TPC River Highlands for a guy who hadn't won in 67 PGA Tour events. He's going to feel the crowd, Watson said. He is going to feel the energy, good or bad. He is going to have to step up, believe in himself and it's the same thing I'm going to have to do. Watson was correct. Hickok did step up and Watson praised him for being steady if not spectacular. Bubba melted like an ice cream bar left out in the sun on this hot June day. No, that's an understatement. Bubba's right. He threw up on himself. Bubba was 13 under par and, Bletch, he finished 7 under and Hickok went on to fall to Harris English in an epic 8-hole playoff. So much has been made of Watson's three victories at Travelers and deservedly so. The way he charged back from six shots back to win in a playoff for his first PGA Tour victory in 2010 was remarkable. How he won for his dad shortly before Jerry Watson's death brought us to tears. That was exactly 11 years ago Sunday and Bubba would add victories in 2015 and 2018. And now here he was Sunday at 42, the same age as Casper when he won his fourth title over at Weathersfield in 1973. He was set to win his first tournament anywhere since 2018. In the glorification of Bubba, in celebrating his Cromwell victories, we must now recognize his collapses, too. They are part of his history at Travelers.